Hey guys! Today, we're going to talk about tanks in PvP. A lot of people dislike tanks, because well, they are immortal, or never die. But did you know that tanks take increased damage in PvP combat? And they have done so since Wars of Draenor. The last documented number on this was 50% back in 803. However, tanks were stealth nerfed last week, and now take a hilarious 67% increased damage in PvP. In order to prove and show this, I did some testing. I gathered my friends Hanson and I panic. I swear the damage taken is higher on tanks now in PvP, like even higher than before. And me, the tank, as well as Hanson, the DPS, went naked together. You go naked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of me? I, I need... You whore. Am I your doll? No, I need to go naked too. <laughs> this is a famous YouTuber guy abusing his fans. <laughs> the reason we're naked is so we have no armor to modify our defenses. Which will give us a more clear result of the damage taken increase. I'm gonna see, I have no passive damage action at all, right? I what are you doing? Go naked. Why? We need to test your pet damage against us. I'm not taking off my shirt. We will be using I Panic's ghoul for the test. Since ghouls, damage done doesn't fluctuate like most other sources of damage. Is it that same number every time? Yeah, that's the thing with pet. They actually don't have the 5% uh, variety. Oh, really? Yeah. That's okay. handy. Let's see how much Hansen takes. Hansen, the DPS Frost DK, took 2620 damage per ghoul melee hit. 2620. Frost DK has no damage taken modified in PvP, unlike tanks. So this damage done by the ghoul is the true PvP damage dealt against no modifier. You uh, have 1% versa passively, don't you? Well, except it's called Tyrion Racial. Okay, so but that doesn't barely matter, it's literally like half percentage off. Me, the tank, on the other hand, your pet auto it's for. took a whole 4390 per ghoul auto it. Pretty much 4389. Doing some quick calculations with Hansen's built in versatility in mind, it barely matters. 4390. Divided by 2,633 is about 1.667, meaning 66.7% damage taken increase, or 66.6 .6 if you want to be edgy. Am I miscalculating it? I'm not missing any passive damage, right? Can't see you, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> to make sure this was not a protection paladin specific nerf, we made sure to try this with Hanson, being both DPS and tank. Frost and blood. Can we have Panic go naked? Fuck, you think you can get me naked? Dude? Yes, please go naked. The fuck, you two gay boys, I'm running. <laughs> As Frost, his damage taken is still 2620. Okay. Blood has no have... passive damage action, right? Wait, do they? No. I don't have any time of right now. How much your armor? Is your armor zero? Uh, yes, zero armor. Okay, Panic, you send in your pet on hand. And as blood, it is 4,367, which makes perfect sense, so it takes a tiny bit less damage than me, thanks to the cool tier and versatility. So since last week, tanks have been stealth nerfed to take 66.6% .6 more damage taken in PvP combat. They actually take 66.6% .6 more damage taken. <laughs> the reason I know this happened last week is because I tested my PvP damage taken before and after the hotfix that came December 13th. That removed our damage reduction passive. I do take more, but did you gear lately? Mm, no. I didn't yeah. hit 700 yesterday. Uh. What happened the next time? I mean, we got a nerve, that should only be in PvE, you should never have been in PvP. That will never activate in PvP at all. Wait, send your pets. And I noticed a considerable damage taken increase. 1850. Huh. Interesting. You might say, well of course I should take more damage now, since they removed the damage reduction. But the thing is, this damage reduction was never active in PvP at all. It was only active in PvE. So the hotfix nerf should not have had any impact on PvP combat. Never let them be not so. I'm trying... Pick oh, that! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah. Ah. This means, either Blizzard removed the damage reduction passive in a lazy way, by slapping on more damage taken to counter it, which also affects PvP combat. Or Blizzard decided to stealth nerf all tanks in PvP. I'm a warrior. It doesn't really matter which one it is. I'm so close to quitting. All that is important to remember 
It had with 67% more damage taken in PvP. I hate this game, dude. I hate this game. Oh, they almost killed No, you don't. Mm. <laughs> they almost killed for everything defensive, dude. I... Tanks aren't really tanks at all. With this massive damage taken increase, you would think tanks are balanced around doing great damage. Well, this week, Protection Warriors received a hefty 20% damage reduction on their main ability, Shield Slam. With the reason being that they, in some cases, are competing with damage dealing specializations. So, tanks aren't allowed to be tankier in DPS. And they're not allowed to do the same amount of damage as a DPS. Then you might wonder, what are tanks balanced around? You take a lot of damage though. Your DK is way more tanky. Are you under gear? No. As for protection paladin, we received a massive healing nerf. Even if I myself agree with the nerf, this shows that they aren't balancing us around doing the output of actual healers. Even while being counted as healer in solo shuffle. Yo, what the fuck? I love you with this, right? Hey. <laughs> Hi. It just seems like tanks have no clear purpose in PvP and have been nerfed on every front. And with all the damage taken increase, they are much squishier than DPS. While you would expect tanks to exceed in the role of tanking damage. You might say this damage taken increase makes sense because of their massive baseline health pool. But then I ask you this. Would you want to get 500% more maximum health but take 200% more damage taken in return? Assuming you're not a percentage based healing class, of course you wouldn't want that. Since the more damage you take, the more healing is required to keep yourself alive. It's kind of weird. I'm doing way more damage, but you heal way more. It's so boring, actually. You're like the most boring. You're the guy that everyone hates. You are here to ruin my DK experience. I live for ruining power games. Yeah, those that's nerfed. Right. That's why I always found it silly, people complaining about protection pallet healing on scoreboards. While it looks like they're beating healers in healing down, in reality, they are not. Well, what is the solution to tanks in PvP? And what should be the role? Don't die again. In my opinion, the best would be to design them to be tanky, but not immortal. Strip them off a lot of self healing, but keep the damage taken intact. Make them deal considerable sustained damage, but barely any burst. And in turn, give them much more control than DPS classes. This will give them a valuable role of protecting your backline and healer teammates. Think of the talent bodyguard for protection warrior. This is a genius design in my opinion. Of course the numbers can be tweaked, but the design is amazing for protecting teammates. Oh, he, oh, he hit the thing! Or it, what, what, yeah, what, I think what? he hit the thing actually. Yeah. Perhaps go over each tank spec individually and give them their own niche. Such as Protection Warrior bringing damage reduction, Protection Pally bringing healing, Vengeance Demon Hunter bringing AoE CC and damage. Well, you get the point. There are lots of different things that can be done to make them both fun to play and play against. I'm your rupiah to flee from me. Currently, the community's perspective on tanks is honestly quite sad. It is everything from wanting tank players to quit the game, or worse, to supporting griefing just because a game had a tank player in it. I can throw people like Super 4. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? You're like a Santa, dude. Yeah. It is interesting that an MMO community, with lots of different playstyles and roles, have such a burning hatred for tanks. While the League of Legends community, which many consider toxic, are much more accepting of them. That's unfortunate. Oh, fuck you, tanky! Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired of the tanks. So what is the reason for this hatred? Is it because they are deemed easy to play? They aren't easier than many other melee classes. Such as warriors, demon hunters, or death knights. Oh, the fuck blur, is blur, ass, blur, dude! He blur, he blur, blur. He healed for a demon, he got another demon spawn, two demons spawn, I think. Look at this! Look at this! Boom. Full health, full health, full health, full health. What the fuck? It is because they are immortal? Well, with 67% damage taken increase, they obviously are not. Many DPS classes are way tankier and can survive much better these days. Even after all the death strike nerfs on my DK, it still feels much sturdier than my Paladin. Maybe it is because you have a shield icon on the role selection. Tell me, what is your honest opinion on tanks in PvP? Do you like them? Hate them? Are you neutral? Feel free to leave a comment. I look forward to hearing your perspective. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more. Are we uh, going monk or? I'm like, I'm like, oh, Jesus! Dude, Jesus! Dude, I'm, 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 wait, are you liking too? I see, see them, but I need to. Uh... I'm oh, like, Jesus! I'm dead. Dude, this game is so bad. I'm, I'm froze, freeze frame.
Yeah, you're lagging. But is no wait no, no the whole game is crashing. Nice oh, Rex. Oh yeah, it's crashed. Nice Rex. Oh my god, this game is so sh shit. I'm back. What the fuck happened to my game? My whole computer freeze. Dude, I'm so annoyed. The first thing I do is throw one ham and I just DC. But this everyone hates tanks, dude. I swear. Even Blizzard is screwing <laughs> up. Well, this is a good start, guys.